Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the previous lesson and homework, I asked you to unmix your frequencies. This is important, again, just a small recap, because if we have contradicting patterns of thought, of belief, of expectation, of feeling, of conviction within our system, within our field, it's going to be rather tricky to see the results that we desire and to feel good overall, which is ultimately the most important thing of the empowerment path or the self-actualization path because it's the most productive, it's the most efficient, it's to feel really good, to be in alignment, to be able to, from this state of feeling good, recognize the things that represent feeling even better so that you can follow that breadcrumb trail with unerring clarity. So it's really important to have integrated this previous material and to have sifted through, or at least gotten used to the practice of looking at or sensing or noticing these potentially contradicting mixed frequencies and unmixing them. So now that you've had some practice with that and you'll be able to recognize mixed frequencies or contradicting thoughts or beliefs when they come up in the future, we can proceed with the next lesson, which is this one. This one is titled, You Are the Creator, Not the Receiver of Experiences. So this lesson, as most in this course, Empowerment 3, are permission slips or tools for you to become more grounded or to become more aware or awake of the fact that you are indeed the creator. And it taps you into a more, shall I say, powerful or potent capacity and awareness to actually overwhelm your experience with your chosen vibratory preference or frequency which then will, since what you put out is what you get back and what you see and how you feel, you are learning or yeah, teaching yourself basically how to amplify the feeling state you wish to be in and how to overwhelm your circumstances with that and how to take away all focus from circumstance so that they have a much better chance out of this unmixed potent state of vibratory beingness rather than a personal physical self for these things to actually show up and manifest and for flow, the experience of flow in your life to enhance it greatly. Now, this first permission slip in this way is titled, you are the creator and not the receiver of experiences. This is an important one to understand if you wish to amplify your willpower, your spiritual will, so to speak, your free will ultimately. And that is that you are the creator of experiences, not the receiver. And why do I emphasize that? Because in our society, we are always taught to perceive that we are at the receiving end of experiences. Victim mentality runs deeply in our societal makeup, in, our, um, in the social memory, so to speak, of our collective. And so we are all indoctrinated with very subtle ideas and sometimes not so subtle ideas about being a victim of creation or being a victim of God or being a victim of some other free will but not ours or being the victim of other people or being the victim of perpetrators or being the victim of space-time or being the victim of outside laws. But the good thing is that all laws that are true universal laws are actually inside of your consciousness and you can make use of these laws rather than feel like they're external to you and that they're boss over you. So you can start to work with these laws of the universe, not just local conditions of time space, but actual laws such as the law of attraction and the law of oneness, etc. So again, for the purpose of this lesson, I want you and in, in the next few days when you're practicing this, I want you to really get into the vibe of experiencing how you are the creator of experiences and not the receiver. Now, this does not mean that there's no aspect of your consciousness that operates as the receiver of experiences or rather the perceiver of experiences. That is true. The physical mind is the receiver, the observer, the perceiver, the interpreter of the experiences that are given to it by the non-physical mind. But again, in order to become more like the non-physical mind and in order to regain more of our free will and to increase our alignment, what we want to do is we want to start matching the vibration of our higher minds. We want to start to see as the higher mind sees and feel as the higher mind feels and operate as the higher mind operates and therefore start to tap into the powers that the higher mind 
operates from. Now, of course, in order to do this, we need to be in intuitive alignment with our theme and with what's relevant for us so that we're not pushing our boundaries too far from a place of a vanity and perhaps what you could call the ego effect or lack beliefs, which is underlying the ego effect. Without lack of beliefs, there is no ego effect. And we are perfectly content while at the same time joyously anticipating the next moment of creation. As we know, it's within our power to follow our excitement and hand in hand with our non-physical minds and higher selves, create and participate in a vibratory way in our creation process. Okay, so first I want you to investigate, in other words, simply seek out the feeling, the vibe of being the receiver of experiences. This is what you've been taught for most of your life, whether you know it or not. This is subliminally, unconsciously, this is what you've been fed, spoon fed, in fact, is that you are the receiver of experiences, no pun intended, with the spoon feeding. It's like creation is spoon feeding us and we'll just have to swallow whatever it brings to our doorstep. So go to that feeling first because Oftentimes it's more efficient to find the negative or unconscious belief first before you actually start to replace it with something new. The clearer you are able to identify the limiting belief, the more effortless it becomes to shift that vibratory pattern into another one that's in much better, closer alignment with the ways of the non-physical mind and the higher self. So find the feeling within yourself. Now this can be very subtle because when I say this, I don't mean just find it when it's triggered by some outside circumstance, like some bully slaps you in the face or your partner leaves you and you feel like you're a victim of circumstances. I'm not talking about that per se. Those are just aspects of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about goes way deeper and is at the fundamental core of most human beings' perception of themselves. It's their automatic assumption of their personal self and they believe that they're separate from their creation. And they believe, in fact, that they are not the creators of their reality. Go to that feeling. Go to the core feeling of, I am a victim, or I am the receiver of experiences of space, time, creation, etc. Even when we start utilizing the law of attraction, oftentimes we still automatically feel and assume like we're at the receiving end of the results, of the outcome, of the process. We are the receivers of the law of attraction. And again, from the physical mind's point of view, this is relatively true. But the physical mind has to understand and start to experience within itself through meditation and a lesson like this that in fact it is the higher mind as well. Therefore, it is also the creator of experiences. So if you stay with the experience for a while, I am the creator of experiences, and you become really aware of when you feel the opposite, when you particularly feel that you're not the creator of experiences, then you can uproot these ideas. You can pinpoint them, you can identify them. And by you, how do you do this again? You track the feeling of victimization. You track the feeling of powerlessness. You track the feeling of separation. You track down the feeling. You retrace your steps, so to speak. You retrace the feeling based on the feeling of disempowerment, of feeling like you are a physical being inside of a physical universe that is set in stone and that has its way with you no matter what you try. You want to go to that sense of that core vulnerability of separation, that sense of disempowerment of that sense of being powerless over space, time, and circumstances. Go to that feeling and resolve it by bringing as much awareness as you can and using some of the previous tools that I've given you in this, um, in this course or path, rather the path of self-actualization, empowerment one, two, or three. The tools that I've given you here are more than enough to bring awareness to those negative feelings of disempowerment and powerlessness especially when they are triggered, but also when they're not triggered, you can feel how you're on automatic pilot automatically as you're going about your day, talking to people, not really conscious of your vibration that much. You can notice how more and more, the more you wake up to this, the more aware you become of the fact that you're always on automatic pilot. And as soon as you are on automatic pilot, it's very hard to not come from the physical mind's perspective of separation and lack. And so you will quite automatically, when you're just having a conversation with somebody, if you're not highly aware of yourself in that moment, this is why I also recommend the Enlightenment course, you will 
automatically come from the assumption that you are the receiver of that experience, that you are not the creator of it. So it's a really subtle pattern of thought, of belief, that runs through most human beings' minds. It runs through mine, and I have to be aware of it sometimes too, in order to expand even more. And it's part of what makes up the physical mind's assumption of itself as an identity. And so it's important for you to be aware of yourself as often as you can, so that you can start to shift your understanding of yourself through repetition from the idea that you are a personal physical being in a set solid universe, being a victim or receiver of experiences, to being a vibrational consciousness, a consciousness having a vibratory choice in that moment, a consciousness with a state of being, and that's all that you start assuming yourself to be, nothing else. I am consciousness with a state of being, and through my state of being, I can increase my frequency, and from those higher metaphysical states of my consciousness, I can now see and understand and inject the fact that I am the creator, the attractor of these experiences, not so much the receiver or perceiver or interpreter. So, go about your everyday life, and for the purpose of this lesson, this is very homework oriented, this is practice oriented. I'm just talking about it now so that you know what I'm talking about and that you got the theory, but the only way you're going to realize this and feel the benefits of it is if you take it with you into every step of your life and every interaction that you'll have in the next few days. And so very powerfully, I want you to shift the sense of identity from being the receiver, instead of seeing yourself as as a point of view inside of a vast world, see yourself as the creator of this vast world. And again, the Enlightenment courses will help you understand how everything is actually happening inside of your consciousness, which makes it easier to see yourself as sort of that spacious awareness within which these appearances are projected. Makes it easier to no longer believe or assume for that moment that you are a physical being receiving experiences and it makes you see that you're the awareness that creates the projection, the dream, the experience. It makes it much easier and more tangible and more physical and more embodied and integrated to feel that way and again every time we feel integrated in a certain feeling state, in a certain conviction, in a certain belief or understanding, we then actually activate our energy field in that particular way and we activate our innate powers to then indeed overwhelm the illusion of our projection with the vibratory choice of our choosing, which is obviously preferable, literally preferable. That's what this is about, to choose what is preferable. However, what is preferable, again, I'm recapturing certain things in this lesson that I feel are important to understand for Empowerment 3 to be fully embodied. I know I'm going a little fast, but you can watch this video afterwards two or three or four or five or six more times until you get it. You can pause it at certain points and meditate on what I say. You can always do this at any lesson. So, Again, what does preference mean? Preference can only be true if it does not come from the separate point of view of lack, but it comes from total alignment and clarity on your theme. That's for the place from which you can truly be in tune with your higher mind and your higher self, and you truly know what it is you actually desire, and then you truly see the beliefs that hold you back, and then you can truly make the choice to free yourselves and no longer hold on to these beliefs that no longer serve you but you also respect the timing of things and you also trust in this higher mind guiding you every step of the way. You don't try to get ahead of yourself too much, even though you're really, really willing to step it up a notch every single day and to see how much more of your creatorship you can become. So go about your everyday life and I want you to look up the feeling I am a victim and replace it with the feeling state of I am creating all of this. Just imagine that you're walking in a dream, so to speak. Imagine that the subjective reality that you're having is completely created by you, by some level of your consciousness. And as soon as you start to know and recognize that you're actually creating this experience, especially how you feel, but even your circumstances and the walls that make up this room and the physical space time experience, Start to, even you can even call it pretending if you don't quite believe it yet, but start pretending, start imagining, start feeling into what it would be like to actually understand and believe that you are placing all of this right in front of your eyes. And you are also placing your eyes right in front of your consciousness. You are placing your body here as well as the space and the air that you're breathing. It is all created out of your consciousness. So you're the creator, you're the determiner, you are the chooser of experiences, not the receiver start to feel into the different subtleties of being the chooser, 
being the creator, being the deliberate creator, the deliberate chooser of your experiences right now, instead of feeling on automatic pilot, like you're just this little dot in a universe that's just having to take all the stuff that comes its way. No, you are the chooser. You're not letting anything happen to you that you don't want happening to you. Of course, again, be in alignment with what is of highest service to you when you make those statements. Nevertheless, from that alignment, you sift through your negative belief systems very quickly because you now realize and remember and feel that you're the chooser, you're the creator of your state of being. You're the creator of your thoughts and of your feelings and therefore even of your circumstances. Start playing around with this creation idea, with this imagination until it starts to trickle down into your feeling state because it's about seeing it, then you start to feel it. So imagine it first, then you start to feel it. And when you start to feel it, you're very, very close or you're going into the state of being it and becoming it. This is where you're raising your frequency to become closer at peace with the higher mind or in alignment with the higher mind and empowered by those higher vibratory states of consciousness that have more creation power, that have more free will, that actually do choose your beingness every single second of every single day. Play around with this, that's the homework. Play around with this and share your experience because this is powerful. Share your experience in the forums and ask for advice or simply share your examples. Like what does it feel like when you are shifting from a state of lack and victimization or being the receiver the perceiver of experiences to feeling like, sure, there's an aspect of me that's perceiving all this, but really what I am, I'm the consciousness that's creating all this. I'm placing all of this right here in front of me or within me. Play around with this, share your experiences and your examples with others and have fun. See you in the next lesson.